guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Becky and if you're new here then welcome and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own DIY plant pot for this spring and summer season. I've got in with some nice pastel colours and I've done some tulips and it's going to be stuff that you're already going to have in your house and it's going to be super easy and quick to make. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Right guys, so we're going to jump straight in. I have got a variety of different acrylic paints. Basically, we're just going to make it a really nice, cute, aesthetic summer plant pot. Now, I got this in the Wilco Closing Down Sale. I think it was about a pound fifty for both the pot and the saucer. This is a 15 inch saucer and I think it's a 13 inch plant pot. So it's a good size, especially for like a starter baby plant. Also, while I'm just showing you about plant pots, I got this one right here. Don't look at my spider plant, it was deprived of water for like a week. But I got this plant pot for a pound from a charity shop, and I just think it is really nice. There are literally like no marks on it, no tips, anything. So if you don't want to plate your own plant pot, but you're still looking for a plant pot on the cheap, definitely check out your charity stores because they're probably going to have a really good selection. I have got these acrylics. As usual, all my acrylics are from Great Art. I bought them all in lockdown. They were a really good price off of the website and they are lasting me ages. Um, so I've chosen some nice like summer colours here. I've just got my big tub of white and then green. And I think my plan is to paint it all white and then I want to do, I've seen like on TikTok some really cute like little tulips that people have been painting. So I think that's gonna look really nice, especially if they all have different colors. So I've got my apron on, I will tie my hair back so it doesn't get stuck in the paint. Also, I can hopefully, once it's painted and set, these little plants will have rooted so I can hopefully plant them in here as well. If you haven't seen my how to water propagation for your plants, I will link that video in the cards up above and in the description box down below. This is a super easy way to get the most out of your house plants. I literally bought one plant and I've ended up with like 12 little babies coming off of this. I can then plant, give as a gift to friends. You can even plant them and give them as a nice summer gift to a friend once you've painted the plant pot as well. I'm literally just gonna start by putting all my paint into my very well used painters thing. What is this even called? Palette, that's what it's called. So I'm gonna get a good chunk of white. I'm not gonna pour out my other colors just yet because I'm doing a white base. Put my lid on there. Actually, all I'm gonna do, just make sure it's nice and clean and smooth. And I'm just gonna go in with a nice fat flat brush and just paint it white all the way around. So I'll time lapse myself doing this because there's nothing really else to it. And then I'll show you how we're gonna do the design and it'll just give you an idea of what to do as well. If you see me looking over this way, I'm gonna put on like a TV show while I'm doing it. What are you guys watching at the moment? My current go-to for easy background noise is Desperate Housewives. I've never seen it before and I've just got really into it. It's just kind of something that you don't, you know, one of those things where you don't really need to concentrate on, but it's like a good watch. Cause I've powered my way through Modern Family as well, but I finished that now. So I think I'm on like season five of Desperate Housewives. Okay, so I have finished painting this now. I have just gone inside the rim a little bit as well, just in case I don't wanna fill it all completely with soil. It's given, I've given it a bit of time to dry. It's still a bit sticky, but it's not too sticky that I can't touch it. So I'm gonna get on with painting my tulips. Now I want these to be like a really nice pastel color. I'm looking at my phone case now and I've got some really nice pastel flowers on there. And I'm gonna try and copy kind of that color scheme. So if I just, I've just got some like water as well to clean all my brushes in. I don't really have a mega fine brush, so hopefully this will work. 
I'm just give this a beach roll first. To make the pastel colours, I am going to mix some of my acrylics with my white. I think this yellow and pink will be fine. I do want to make like a pastel lilac, so I'm going to try and use this teal colour and this like dark reddy pinky purple, mix those together. And then for my stems, I'm going to mix a bit of this green with the white as well. Also, if you can now hear, I have put the dishwasher on, so I do apologise if that's in the background. Okay, so I really like this green pastel colour that I've got now. I am just going to mix all my colours before I start painting and then they're all ready and I can just kind of go ahead with it. So the next one, I think this pink, like I said, is going to be fine. So, oh, just going to pop that already in. Same with this yellow. I don't think I'm going to need to add anything to this. Now I want a nice pastel blue, so I'm going to mix some white with this. Now I'm going to take a bit of my blue and just pop it into another separate mixing slot. I'm going to take a bit of this red as well. This is a carmine. carmine. Mix those together and start making like a nice purple colour. That's actually a really nice purple. I think this is going to make a nice lilac colour once I add the white to it. This is just a clay tool, but I'm just going to scrape some white so I don't get it on my brush. Add that to the blue. I might just add a little bit of white to that pink just to tone it down a little bit. Press that on there. So all I'm doing is just mixing these colours together. Obviously feel free to do whatever design you want. Pinterest is really good to get ideas off. I saw a really cute like strawberry design. I'll insert it up here and I thought that was really cute and summery. So this is more like probably like an indigo-y, lilac-y colour. But I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to, every time I'm going into remix, I'm just cleaning my brush and then wiping it to make sure there's no excess on so I don't murky any of the colours. But it's always good to have a bit of kitchen roll on hand as well. So you can constantly pick up and put down your tools without worrying about messing up your surface. And I've learned from past videos that it's probably best to wear an apron as well just in case you get any paint on your clothes or just have some clothes that you wear for crafting. Always a good idea as well. Right, I'm really happy with all the colours that I've got there. So now that I've got them, I'm going to start by making my little tulip design. Now I'm just going to evenly space some little tulip stems. It's literally going to be really basic, green, one line and then two little lines. Get a fine brush, as fine as you can get. You can just get them from like the craft store, the pound shop. And then I'm just gonna evenly space. I'm gonna start at the bottom and work my way up. I'm just gonna draw a little paint and then two of the little lines. And that's just gonna form the stem. So I'm gonna go in with all those first and then we're gonna go in with the colors and draw like the actual tulip petals. I'm leaving a good gap because then on my next row, I'm going to do one in the middle. This is quite a good practice for me because me and my sister-in-law went um, pottery making. So you do it on like an actual potter's wheel, which was really cool. And we got to make three different pots and it was only £35 for the session, which was really good. Um, and then you go back and you can go and paint them. So I booked in in May to go back and paint them. And I've started trying to collect some ideas of what I want them to look like. It's really hard. Like, there's so many different ideas out there. What I like about painting things like this, though, is that you don't have to be, like, mega super artistic. You can just do really simple designs. All of these are completely different looking to each other as well. So I'll just time lapse this, and then we will catch up when we're going to do the petals. Okay, so this is what my little tulip stems are looking like. Basically, all I've done all the way around is just try to evenly space them as well as I can. And they just kind of look like a downwards arrow. So that is probably the best way to try and draw them, just like a little downwards arrow going down. And then I'm gonna go in and try and just draw probably like almost like a U or a V shape to create the petals on them. Now I want to alternate the colours, so I'm going to start with this yellow. I'm 
I'm just kind of doing a U shape and then filling it in with the paint and leaving it quite textured because I think that's going to add like a nice pop of colour onto it. So as I've gone round, yeah, that is my pinky stinking through the top. Stinking? That's my pinky uh, <laughs> sticking through just to hold it. But as I've gone round, I've just kind of done all the yellow ones evenly spaced. And then I'm going to go in next and just do the exact same with the pink. So I have added like a little sprout. So it's like a little mini fork just to make it look a bit more like a tulip. Again, you can completely make this your own. And then once you've done the first colour, it's really easy, you don't have to count where the rest of your colours are going, just because if you're going to be following the same pattern, you can just kind of know that after the yellow there's going to be a pink and so on. So this is, like I said, a really cute craft that you can do with the kids, you can do it with the girls, just get anyone involved in it really, and it's really nice, especially if, you know how in like your spring summer days in like April and May you can kind of get like your April showers so if you're having like a bit of bad weather this is a, just a really nice inside craft to do and then especially if you're going to follow it up with some plant propagation and you can put them in it's like gardening but inside what's not to love okay so what I'm going to do instead of doing another time lapse to keep this video nice and short and sweet I'm going to do the rest of the colours and then we'll clip to the end when it's going to be finished. Okay guys, so I decided to paint the little like basin as well. Just like the outside and a bit of the inner rim, I've not gone all the way, same as like the inside of the plant pot. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think it's so cute and it's just going to add like a nice pop of colour. I think I'll probably add either another spider plant or maybe like a peace lily in here i think that'll look really cute i might even plant some indoor tulips in here that could also work really nice but this is how it turned out i'm super happy hopefully you can see it if you want more videos like this and you really like the crafting and painting videos then please give this video a thumbs up and while you're down there hit the subscribe button also and if you've made it to this part of the video comment down below the tulip emoji and i'll catch you at the next one Thanks guys, bye!